I was asked to give welcome to, and I will do that on behalf of myself and Senator Dan Blue, uh, who couldn't be here this morning or this afternoon. I um, wanted to tell you a little bit about my experience, although I represent Wake County, I know that's hard for you people to believe, uh, I actually went to a rural school. Part of Wake County I live in was rural uh, 20 years ago when I graduated. Um, I remember when we put our first stoplight up, I remember when we got our first parties. I remember when we built the high school in the middle of a tobacco field. Um, so it was pretty cool. Um, and so I think we need to move North Carolina forward, and that's going to require the rural areas and the urban areas working together. I recognize that rural school districts are the key to that progress, and that we need to make sure that all kids receive a 21st century education. That's their right as young citizens, and it's our responsibility as a generation before them and taxpayers. Um, the governor has thrown out some ideas and I'm hopeful that they will see uh, some success in this coming session. He's talked about raising teacher pay. Uh, for, for those of you who don't know me, my daughter is the one that was featured in the um, News Observer a couple weeks ago and was on Good Morning America this week as far as using uh, the NCAA tournament in her class. Uh, she is a seventh grade math and science teacher. And um, so I promise you, I hear about your issues every day. <laughs> um, and I'm just happy to have her off the payroll. Um, Governor Cooper has recommended uh, teacher pay increases 5% this fiscal year and another 5% next year. That'll put us on path to getting to the top of the Southeast. Um, in my opinion, we need to stop prioritizing tax cuts for wealthy individuals and corporations. Yes. That money is better invested in public education. I recognize that money we spend on teacher pay stays in rural communities. It creates jobs, it helps wages, and it helps your local economies. A good example of that is Governor Cooper's proposal to give every teacher $150 stipend at the beginning of the school year to purchase school supplies. We recognize that you are already doing that, and we want to help you in that effort. Um, we need to invest in digital learning. In today's age, there's no reason that a kid in North Carolina shouldn't have a whole world of information. I was lucky that my parents could purchase me Encyclopedia Britannica <laughs> as a young good school student. <laughs> now you just need a wireless connection. And because of that, there's no excuse for a student in North Carolina to be geographically isolated. Last, uh, last fall, I had the pleasure to take my wife on an anniversary trip to Australia. We had cell service in the middle of the outback. Mm -hmm. It's all done by satellites out there. They can't run the wires, but they found a way to do it across the entire country. I was literally in the middle of the outback. Um, North Carolina used to be known as the good road state. Our challenge going forward is to become the good broadband state. The state needs to invest in areas where private utility companies might not see enough profit margin to extend broadband. Governor Cooper is calling for a $20 million investment in rural broadband, and he'll have our support. If we do this, small businesses and farmers in those areas can better market their goods and compete in the global marketplace. Their businesses can grow, and so will local tax bases. Stronger local tax bases lead to more local funding for schools. It's a virtuous cycle of progress for all. I want to thank you for having me here today. Again, I want to give my remarks on behalf of Senator Blue as well, who uh, many of you have heard from in the past. But you know he comes from a rural area in North Carolina and believes in uh, equal education.